The Ultimate Guide to Virtual Reality Gaming in 2024 Imagine standing on the edge of a cliff, feeling the wind in your face as you gaze out over a breathtaking landscape. The ground beneath you rumbles as a dragon flies overhead, its shadow darkening the valley below. Your heart races. This isn't a dream, it's not a fantasy. This is virtual reality gaming in 2024, where the impossible becomes your reality. Welcome to the future of gaming, where you don't just play the game, you become part of it. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of virtual reality gaming from the latest hardware that's transforming the industry to the mind-blowing experiences that'll have you questioning what's real. Stick around because by the end of this video you'll know everything you need to start your VR adventure and why 2024 is the year for virtual reality. All right, so virtual reality has been around for a hot minute, right? We've seen the early headsets, the clunky setups, the promises. But 2024, this year feels different. And you know when tech different, that's when things get interesting. First off, the tech itself has made some serious leaps. We're talking higher resolutions, wider fields of view. Basically, what you see in the headset is way closer to what your eyes see in real life. That means less of that screen door effect, more immersion, and way less nausea for those prone to it. Then there's the processing power behind it all. We've got new GPUs, new chips, even standalone headsets that don't need to be tethered to a beefy PC. That means smoother performance, more complex games, and easier setup for everyone. But here's the real kicker. Developers are finally getting it. The games coming out aren't just tech demos anymore. They're full-fledged experiences built from the ground up for VR, taking advantage of everything this tech can do. We're talking about games that can transport you to different worlds, put you face-to-face -face with terrifying creatures, and let you experience things you never thought possible. And that's just the beginning. Because when you think about it, VR has the potential to revolutionize way more than just gaming. Imagine virtual concerts, immersive education, even remote surgery, the possibilities are kind of mind-blowing. So, yeah, 2024 is a big year for VR, the tech is finally there, the games are incredible, and the future is looking seriously exciting. Stick around, because we're about to break down everything you need to know to join the VR revolution. Alright, let's talk games because, at the end of the day, hardware is cool and all, but it's the experiences that really matter. And trust me, 2024 is serving up some seriously next-level VR games. First up, we gotta talk about Half-Life Alex 2. I mean, the first one basically redefined what VR gaming could be, and the sequel, it's taking everything to the next level. Then there's Zenith The Last City. This is a full-blown VR MMO where you can team up with friends, explore a massive world, and basically live out your fantasy adventure dreams. The social aspect of this one is insane, and it's only getting bigger. And if you're looking for something a little more fast-paced, you gotta check out Beat Saber. This game is pure adrenaline, letting you slice and dice to the beat of your favorite music. Trust me, it's way more fun than it sounds, but those are just a few of the highlights. We've also got games like Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, which lets you step into the Star Wars universe like never before, and Resident Evil Village VR, which is basically the scariest VR experience you can have right now. No matter what kind of gamer you are, there's a VR game out there that'll blow your mind in 2024. So, let's dive into some of the standout titles you absolutely need to have on your radar. Okay, let's talk about the game that has everyone talking Half-Life Alex 2. The original Half-Life Alex was a game changer, proving that VR could deliver truly immersive and unforgettable gaming experiences. And the sequel? Let's just say the hype is real. This time around you're back in the shoes of Alex Vance, fighting against the Combine in a desperate struggle for survival. The story picks up right where the last game left off, and trust me, you're going to want to experience this one firsthand. But what really sets Alex 2 apart is the way it utilizes VR. We're not just talking about looking around and interacting with objects, we're talking about physically reloading your weapons, climbing through environments and solving puzzles using your actual hands. The attention to detail is insane. You can actually feel the weight of your weapons, the resistance of objects in the environment, even the subtle vibrations of machinery. It's all about making you feel like you're really there, in the heart of the action. And then there's the atmosphere. Valve has outdone themselves with the graphics and sound design, creating a world that's both beautiful and terrifying. From the dark oppressive corridors of City 17 to the eerie alien landscapes, 
Every moment in Alex 2 is a visual and auditory treat. But it's not just about the visuals and sound. The gameplay is classic Half-Life, with a mix of intense combat, challenging puzzles, and a gripping story that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Whether you're a die-hard Half-Life fan or a newcomer to the series, Alex 2 is an absolute must-play VR experience. It's the kind of game that pushes the boundaries of what's possible in VR, and it's an experience you won't soon forget. Chapter 4 Zenith The Last City The MMO of the Future Now let's shift gears to something completely different, Zenith The Last City. This is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, or MMORPG, built from the ground up for VR. Imagine stepping into a vast, vibrant world filled with other real players. You can explore sprawling cities, climb mountains, and even fly through the skies. The sense of scale and freedom in Zenith is unlike anything you've experienced before. It's a living, breathing community where you can team up with friends and take on epic quests, battle bosses, craft weapons, and build your own home. Social interaction feels incredibly natural and immersive. Share a virtual beer at the tavern or just hang out. Zenith is constantly evolving, developers are always adding new content and regions to explore. Whether you're a seasoned MMO veteran or a newcomer, Zenith is an experience you don't want to miss. Chapter 5. Beat Saber, the ultimate rhythm game. Alright, time to switch gears again and talk about a game that's pure, unadulterated fun, Beat Saber. This is a rhythm game that takes the simple concept of slicing blocks to the beat of music and turns it into a full-body VR experience. Imagine this. You're standing in a neon-lit void, two glowing sabers in your hands. Music starts pumping, and colored blocks come flying towards you, each with an arrow indicating the direction you need to slice. Your goal? Slice the blocks with the correct saber, in the right direction, and at the perfect time, all while moving your body to the beat. It sounds simple, but trust me, Beat Saber is seriously addictive. The combination of music, movement, and satisfying gameplay creates a flow state that's hard to describe. It's the kind of game that makes you want to keep coming back for just one more song. But Beat Saber is more than just a fun distraction. It's also a surprisingly good workout. As you're slicing blocks and dodging obstacles, you'll be moving your arms, legs, and core, working up a sweat without even realizing it. And the best part? Beat Saber has a massive and active modding community. This means you can download custom songs, levels, and even sabers, adding endless replayability to the game. Whether you're into pop, rock, EDM, or even classical music, there's a Beat Saber mod for you. So, if you're looking for a VR game that's fun, challenging, and will get your heart racing, look no further than Beat Saber. It's the perfect game to show off your VR setup to friends and family, and it's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Chapter 6. Getting started, what do you need? Okay, so you're hyped about VR, you've seen the games, experienced the future, now how do you actually make it happen? Let's break down the essentials to get you started on your VR journey in 2024. First, the big question, PC VR or standalone? PC VR headsets like the Valve Index offer the best visuals and performance but require a powerful and often expensive gaming PC. Standalone headsets like the MetaQuest 3 offer more freedom and affordability, but with some compromises in graphics and tracking. Think of it like choosing between a gaming laptop and a decked-out desktop. Both have pros and cons, so it depends on your budget and priorities. Next up, space. VR is about moving around, not just sitting on your couch. You'll need a dedicated play area, free of obstacles and tripping hazards. Think 6 feet by 6 feet at least, but more is always better. Once you've got your headset and space sorted, it's time to think about accessories. VR controllers are a given, but consider adding hand tracking for even more immersive experiences. And if you're prone to motion sickness, a fan blowing a gentle breeze can work wonders. It might sound strange, but that little bit of sensory input can help trick your brain and make the experience more comfortable. Finally, don't underestimate the power of good audio. A quality pair of headphones can make a huge difference in VR, immersing you in the soundscape and enhancing the feeling of presence. Look for headphones with good spatial audio, so you can pinpoint the direction of sounds in the virtual world. It's the difference between hearing a monster roar and feeling like it's right behind you. Outro. The future of gaming is here. So, what are you waiting for? Virtual reality gaming is no longer just a dream, it's here, and it's changing the way we experience games forever. 
Whether you're looking to dive into epic worlds, challenge your friends, or just get lost in another reality, there's never been a better time to get started. The only question is, are you ready to take the leap? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more in-depth guides on everything gaming, and let us know in the comments what VR game or experience you're most excited about. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the virtual world.